As you've just seen, every derby is different. This one especially so. The Broncos at Suncorp on a Sunday and a beautifully sunny Sunday. For the first time since round 17 last year, the weekend after a state game, we have Origin opponents as teammates and Origin teammates as opponents. The Broncos, these men, they're in the news around Ben Hunt. The Titans likewise. Plus, they've parted ways with a coach this week, Matt Russell, Steve Roach, Steve Renoff with you to start your Sunday ticket blocker. There's a bit happening in and around this game. Yeah, good afternoon, Matt. And the great Steve Renouf on the sideline, welcome to him. A Sunday Arvo footy, fast track, exciting Broncos, the way that they play. Really looking forward to AJ Brimson up against Reese Walsh. The boys spoke about that before the game. Only, um, only eight games for AJ Brimson this season so far, so... Let's hope that he gets his wheels and starts to attack the Broncos here this afternoon. And on screen before that, David Fafita backing up from Origin. One of six players to do so in the Broncos lineup. Reese Walsh, Thomas Flegler, Payne Haas, Pat Carrigan. They want two premiership points for the Broncos and a ticket back to the top of the NRL ladder. Oh, gee, I hope they're on this afternoon, this uh, Brisbane side. They're special long-range tries. They're great to watch. Half chances now become scores. The Titans up against it. No big Tino. And there he is, Reese Walsh. Well, people doubted whether he'd be so competitive in state of origin. How tough he is. What a player. Reminds me a lot of Billy Slater. So we're going to see this guy get a lot better. And Payne Haas backing up after the origin. He might have sighed a little bit of sigh of relief. The big Tino isn't up against it. But worry, worry this guy. He's the best front rower in the competition. Pat Carrigan, part of that middle forward rotation. Flegler, Haas, Carrigan. What players for Kevin Walters? Payne Haas, three-time prop of the year. Steve Roach, three-time prop of the year. Keen to get more thoughts during the game. The Sunday ticket gives you three rides. The first of them, Brisbane against the Cold Coast. And it's the home team running towards the southern end of Suncorp Stadium together, on a fantastic Jamie. afternoon. Wait, Hold Brisbane, home. they've done a lot right this season, but they want better starts. Let's see how dialed in they are. Yeah, as there's a good tackle Isaac, come in on Wait. Jordan Rickey. Brian Kelly, we look forward to that battle all afternoon. Billy Walters, he's been a constant for the Broncos this season. Hasn't missed a game, an offload for Adam Reynolds. Now Walsh, they go through the hands. Ricky out to Selwyn Cobo. Cobo shaking that hip complaint that ruled him out of origin to take his place at club level. Carrigan, middle of the ground, goes to Flegler. This is an encouraging opening set. If offloads, that's the second one so far. And now Herbie Farnworth tried to step his way back towards the middle of the ground. Ball wrapped up by Sam Verrills for the Titans. Two plays left. Carrigan with his second run of the opening set. Brilliant sunshine and a building crowd still at Suncorp Stadium. Great atmosphere to start your Sunday ticket. And Walton sees a hole. Out of dummy half, dummy in. Billy Walters takes the final easy, tackle boys, just a Excellent. few metres short of the line. What an opening set from Brisbane. Well, the one thing and the last thing you talk about when you leave the sheds if you're the Titans is your defence. You've got to get up there. You've got to be physical against the Brisbane Broncos. Two offloads, a long-range break there from Billy Walters. That's a poor start from the Titans. And now Gold Coast off their own line with the opening set. David Fafita has missed the last club game, a win against the Tigers for the Titans because of HIA protocols. And there's Piakura, who prides himself on his defence, racing in on Jamin Jolliffe, who is starting today because Tino Fasua Malaawi is given a rest after origin. We'll talk more about that decision by Jim Lenahan, the interim coach at Gold Coast in a moment for Fita. Look at that offloading. It takes tackle five. Still a long way from halfway, so under pressure early. Gold Coast get the kick away. Tanner Boyd straight down the ground. And now Reese Walsh. There's a penalty here to the Titans. This is a big penalty. Gee, I don't know how late that tackle hey, was. Year, Reece Walsh is just saying position. it's been a rule all year, as the referee is saying. Good signs for the Titans, too. Here's the play. Oh, geez, a little bit of a push. Hey, a little bit of a feather duster. Honestly. Hey, 
Yeah. Nothing in it compared to your era, Stephen, but as the modern game evolves, head office very keen to protect the kickers at all costs. Well, let's put, a beep, the let, ground, let's put a beep on them then. If you're you off, can't the, hit them. off the ground, you just can't tackle them. That's the way we've arrived. That's the consistent call of this man. Only his second game back from the torn peck, and he's thrown into a starting role against the Brisbane Broncos, boasting three origin forwards in the pack. Here's one of the Titans, Queenslanders from Wednesday, Mo Fodawaka. Set Verils. Good to see him back from injury, feeding Isaac Liu. Cut the former Roosters right there. Gold Coast on the attack early, Fodawaka. Couldn't get away from Walters or Carrigan. Verils to Tanner Boyd, it's lost, it's put down by Stimson. And the defence from the Gold Coast, a feature for the Broncos, a feature of their play all year on show early. Gee, that was a poor pass there. Stimson trying to motor onto the ball. Very flat pass there. Good defence there from the Broncos. The repeat set. Which sides have got to defend an error. It's exactly what they did after the charge down. Or the, a bit of a tickle there on Tanner Boyd. They got the penalty, got down the other end. Couldn't complete that time. Broncos defence. Starting off well on goal. So no Tino Fasul Mala are we rested after origin? Did that raise eyebrows by you, Steve? Yeah, Jed, if he's fit, he's got to play. I mean, what, what happens if we have a look at the Titans at ninth at the moment? What happens if they get beat and they miss out the semis by a couple of points? If he's well, he should be playing. We're lucky to have the Broncos record try scorer sitting sideline for us as part of the Fox Fee League family. Steve Renoff, welcome. Is it as good an afternoon as it looks? Oh, it's absolutely beautiful, boys, down here on the sideline. I tell you what, it's 25 degrees, but a promising start from the Brisbane Broncos, and, uh, you know, hopefully they can carry that on. Here's Pat Carrigan carrying the defenders forward, carrying high hopes for the Broncos in 2023. Pierre Cora wrapped up by Foran. Kieran Foran returning from that toe injury that cost him two games. And now Reynolds goes high across the ground, making the Titans look up into the sun. They make the catch. And Sami is wrapped up by the chasing Ezra man. That took some catching on a bright day in Brisbane. Yeah, I think he's going to be under plenty of pressure too, Sami. The first take was taken beautifully. The, the chase not that good. He had plenty of time. Look at him. Shadow on the eyes there. Beat the first defender too. The Titans now again trying to take the ball off their own line here. Tom Pereira. The Titans leading try scorer given no latitude. Mo Fodawaka. The Titans won their first derby against Brisbane, but there have been some lean runs since that first up joy. They're on a four-game losing streak against the Broncos as we speak as Brimson goes to Aaron Shop. Shop and Sami on the right edge for Gold Coast. And Tanner Boyd sends it high. Down towards Selwyn Cobbo, this young, athletic, exciting winger. 11 tries this season so far for Selwyn up against Khan Pereira with 13. So a couple of proven finishes behind this representative forward pack hosted by each team. Rickey. finds Flegler on the move. Straight into Fafita. Bumper bar, bumper bar raised. And now Reynolds just drifting across the ground to Mam. In a combination that is proving to be Ezra Mam, 20 years of age. Adam Reynolds, 32. And here's Reynolds completing another set for Brisbane. Bouncing in front of AJ Brimson at the back. Hopefully well clear of the hamstring injury. That cost him four games. Returned against the Tigers with a typically exciting performance. And Khan Pereira driven backwards in the tackle. So the team's happy to go set for set early on. Philip Sami, one of the try scorers when these teams met in round seven. A crazy game by the Broncos and now there's an intercept very nearly for Selwyn Cobbo and that was a feature of that round seven game the Broncos going 
long distances from within their own half. It was almost a runaway try for Selwyn. Yeah, just have a look at the way he set himself too and just exploded onto the ball, just read it beautifully. Got great anticipation. Falling through the pass there. Cobo comes in between a couple of the Titans players. Would have been shut the gate had he got the football there. It would have been all over. I don't know where Rimson was positioned, but he would have run away to score there easily. If you remember round seven, blocker 43 26. Brisbane beat Gold Coast. They trailed at half time. They rattled home seven tries to four. Big Tino was Sinbin, professional foul. And yes, the Broncos, three tries from within their own 50. Yeah, they're, they're an unbelievable side, aren't they? Long range tries, better than anyone else in the NRL, the Brisbane Broncos. But the Titans, great in the first half and competitive in most games. The second half defensively, they've got to fix up here. Now it's Titans in possession. Fafita, good legs tackle. To Tony Staggs wrapping up the edge forward. And this is Jamin Jolliffe. Just his third game of the season, as I mentioned. He hoped to get back for this game. He got back a week early, or a couple of weeks early. One game early, Tanner Boyd going across the ground. Brimson pulled down by Farnworth. Ball comes free. Walsh picks it up. And again, the Broncos survive pressure on their own line. Well, do you know in a side full of uh, superstars, Herbie Farnworth, what a defender he is. Brimson tried to get on the outside of him there. Held the ball out in front to try to get the offload. It's a beautiful one-on-one -on -one tackle there. Used his speed to get on the outside, but... Underrated farm work. Problem here for the Broncos. Herbie Farnworth staying down. Gee, I hope I didn't jinx him here. Bound for the Dolphins next season and beyond, obviously, but hoping for a big finish to his five years as a Bronco. There's a one-on-one -on -one tackle again, as I was mentioning. We've seen... And there's the jarred shoulder on the way down by the look of that. Looks like he just jarred his elbow on the on the ground there. Just pops that shoulder a little bit by the look of it. We get him up now. So while they treat Herbie Farnworth, it's worth underlining Brisbane's defence. There's what Herbie has done so far this season. Very nice averages, but Steve Renoff, the Broncos having their best defensive year since 2015, and a bit of it has been on display here early. It has, and that, that's what takes to win rugby league games, and the Broncos have shown that all season. Yeah, giving up seven and a half points per game. Of course, Gold Coast having difficulties defensively, but not with ball in hand. It's a beaut, super. Saturday we've seen yesterday, the Sunday ticket with three games as well today. Next up, South Sydney against North Queensland. Cody Walker is in, Tom Burgess is back. They've dropped three of their last four, the Bunnies, and they'll need to be careful against an improving North Queensland. Yeah, it'll be an interesting game, that one. Farmworth wins a penalty there. It must have been, must have been a little bit high, the two in the tackle there. So Broncos up and around the halfway line. Already made a couple of breaks in this game so far. Isaac Liu, the man to go and report, actually, the bunker identifying pressure on the neck and the injury resulting from that. Herbie shaking the complaint, but the penalty invites Brisbane upfield. And now Reynolds goes to Carrigan. With Fafita chopping him down around the legs. Walters to Reynolds. Quick hands, man. Piacora. Yeah, shot was there to stop him. Good combination. They look in sync as Haas goes through the middle. A lone New South Welshman out there in terms of origin around all these Maroons. Piakura puts it down. Shot picks it up. And a mistake by Brisbane. Let's Gold Coast off the hook. Yeah, good defence there by Tanner Boyd. Not ball watching the outside men. We know how potent they are on both sides of the field. The Broncos. Tannerboy comes up with that strong tackle. And the ball watching there. 11 minutes in. Brisbane come up with their first error. Long from four. And now Alofiana Khan Pereira down this western sideline, away from Reese Walsh and from behind Katoni Staggs. Foreign Brinson. Tanner Boyd long, they're moving the ball. First to the left, now back to the right. Sami, an offload. Jamin Jolliffe goes into Carrigan. 
Bartley Walters, the man to affect the tackle, though. Ten metres out. It's four at the veteran. Fafita pass without looking. Two ground picked up by Khan Pereira. And he's wrapped up by Cobo. Now Kelly. Scooting out of dummy half. Finding the middle of the ground. Tackled by Flegler. This is the last. It's with Boyd. Now for it. Dummies. Goes into his own player in Stimson. And Mark Joe down for a tackle on his own. Yeah, it was a nice play there, throwing the ball around the Titans. They've got to get a repeat set here, but you've got to be out pressure. Here's the long range break for it on the outside. You can't, just skips in. Did well not to try and force the pass back on the inside, but they'll come away with something a little bit better than that when they're in the 20 of the Broncos. Got to mount pressure. Last two times they've been there, they've come away there as the Titans. A sunny, dry afternoon, it seems both sides are, are willing to use the football, are excited to play in these conditions. As we touched on, Brisbane's first Sunday game since round 17 last year. And this is round 17 of the 2023 campaign. Haas lifted, driven backwards. Joel of the man under the ribcage. Now Carrigan passing at the line to Flegler. Good tackle by Fafita. Just have a look at how they all push around the ball through the forwards. And not a lot of one out running from the Broncos. We saw that from the Queensland side too against New South Wales. So, got a great combination in their forwards. The kick fielded by AJ Brimson, of course, Jim Lenahan, interim coach for Gold Coast. He spent a lifetime in rugby league to become an NRL coach overnight. A shout out to. Justin Holbrook, it's never pleasant seeing a coach let go. I think I speak for both of us, Steve, when I say I, I hope we see him back in the game in no time at all. Well, yeah, you take the jump down to be an assistant. Uh, there's big raps on him as a coach, so you know, they're running ninth of the competition, so they obviously thought they need, need a change, but let's hope Justin bobs up somewhere else. Premiership winning assistant coaches are put down by Mo Fodawaka. Isaac Liu was the man to come up with a drop. I'm sorry, yeah. Premiership winning assistant coaches Shane Flanagan at Manly, Michael Maguire at Canberra. To wrap up that conversation, here's the mistake Isaac Liu just looking at Fafita on his outside before getting control of the ball. And you just have those errors aren't starting them out. That's a third error in the Broncos' half. Just got to con concentrate. You have a look at the Broncos, haven't really been up the other end so far, apart from Billy Walters with a long-range break from the first set in, so i'll be looking to get in that attacking zone now off, let's go. brisbane 11 and 4 win this they go back to the top of the table they are six wins three losses at suncorp stadium this season and this is their last game here before round 27. about to farewell suncorp for a couple of months so you yeah. see Pia Kura come forward. Yeah, good is it to see the Broncos on a Sunday, Arvo, rather than Friday night. <laughs> you normally just lock it in. They're the smallest board on Friday night footy. Pass. They're off to the Gabba next week against the Dolphins. The Gabba to become their home away from home. Billy Walters at dummy half through Reynolds. Now Flegler loses the ball. So both sides coughing up position over the last few minutes. Good work there by Stimson coming over the top nice and solid. We said how physical the Titans needed to be. They forced a couple of errors there on the Broncos. It's a good start from them. Now problem for Brian Kelly clutching at an ankle. He's twisted that on the way down there. And there's no one dropping on his ankle. I hope. There's, there's Stimson up under the ball. Yeah. This is an earlier Technique. moment. Oh, that's to see that. Yeah. Well, the hip and the body drops into the ground, and then the ankle's almost trapped under under the underarm, if I can put it that way, with Katoni Stag. So. No problem in the tackle. Very good to see him up and around Brian Kelly too. He'll be instrumental for the for the Titans today with his left hand defence there, right attack from the Broncos. Really good. 
He's defended well so far. He's flagged it trying to make up for the error. <laughs> As they'll try and walk. You love that. He'll walk that injury off. He's jumping the injury off to the side of Flegler, racing up on Jamin Jolliffe, who's slowed back to his feet. Maybe Jamin believes there's a high contact there. Tom, AJ, I know you're the captain, Captain. We can't do this every time. Okay? If there's an issue, it'll be checked. Oh, yeah, what's it? Just get him screwed. Are you doing, HJ, mate? Straight for the head. Well, Flegler certainly wore contact to the head as the defender. I don't know whether there was any head contact on the attacker, was there? Yeah, I love seeing that bloke's trying to make up for the error a little bit earlier. And that, on the same bloke, too. I oh, know it was Jolliffe this time running the ball. Hey, John. So on the court, okay. Thomas Flegler. Boys, Tom, Tom. I'm breaking it up. Oh, no, no, I'm just saying, if you go away and then we can get on the plane, yeah? He's trying to make a difference there. there. Just got it wrong, that's all. Look at the tackle again. He raced yeah. up, he I made good contact. Did he make high contact, though, <laughs> Steve yeah, I Roach? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, think so was, either. He regularly got hit on the chin by the shoulder of Jolliffe. I agree, boys. Uh, that was, there was not much in that. Uh, I thought it was a great hit, but uh, there you go. Glad we're all on the same page. Maybe nothing to see here for the match review committee when Thomas Flegler's case comes across their desk after this one. Anyway, the penalty applies to Gold Coast. They march upfield as a result. And here's Mo Fodawaka. So three and a half minutes left in the opening 20, yet to have any points here. Exactly, you goes on. Put in the tackle. Jolliffe again. And this is in a football game this afternoon. Jamin Jolliffe is now racing up on AJ Brimson. Katoni Staggs got in his grill very quickly. Fodawaker again. Straight and hard into Flegler. Patrick in there to assist. Two plays left for the Titans. Isaac Liu, catch and pass. Boyd, Brimson tries to spin away from Farnworth but can't. Got to get a repeat set here. And Boyd waits to the left. He gets it now. Goes across the ground looking for the height. And he finds the height of Selwyn Cobbo. Jumping from his own in goal. Seven tackles set for the Brisbane Broncos. Yeah, look at what easy did it with there. And his H just... The other big winger on the left-hand side taking the first carry. Good wingers, don't they, Brisbane? Big, tall, strong. Great finishes. Cobbo, Corey Oates. Corey in his 11th season. Selwyn in his third. Still so much development in that. Selwyn Cobbo is Barnworth. Comes forward. Can't shake the tackle. Billy Walters. He's only missed one game, Billy Walters, since arriving at the Broncos. Pierre Cora. Now Carrigan just turning Haas underneath. Who's going to break this deadlock blocker? Two plays left in this set. Brisbane in position to strike here. Ezra Mam, a grubber in the legs of Verrills. Did he play at it? It's come back to Brisbane. They've got the ball back at the set restarts. Walters out of dummy half. So some momentum, some pressure building. Haas gets the ball away. Another offload in the season of Payne Haas. Carrigan gets the 10 metre line in front of him. Walters to Walsh. Back the open side where Reynolds drifts across the ground and kicks. Well weighted into the in goal, too heavy. Slapped back by Walsh. As the man is following, you are right, Steve Roach. Walsh flashing through, using the bounce, keeping it alive. And Ezra Mann believes he's delivered the first try. What about that's unbelievable, isn't no it? We've got no try. Walsh is offside. Okay, oh, offside, Reece, Reece Walsh. A little, we know he's fast. He might have been too fast for his own good here. Just looking at Reese Walsh, he's required to have two feet behind the ball. 
is offside. We're just going to play through here. The voice of Casey Badger in the bunker. Going to give up on the play there. And he's top of that. His foot is then dead when he touches yeah. the ball. He's become involved in play. We have a decision. So offside, and then you could see the divot left on the dead ball line as he touched the ball. So Gold Coast cut a break by a narrow margin on a couple of fronts. Kevin Walters will have to wait for the first try of the game. But that's the closest call so far. Yeah, it is. And, and Cobo with the drop ball there when he went to the intercept on Kieran Foran. So it could have been easily 12 0, but it's not. Well done there from the Gold Coast Titans hanging in there. to watch Steve Renoff fly down the field. Steve, what do you what do you think now watching the modern day player like Reese Walsh? Absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, these boys are uh, a very different physique, uh, top speed, you know, very different than we played, but uh, Reese Walsh is so exciting and um, you know, everyone just loves watching him. Steve Renoff, 183 games for Brisbane, 142 tries. Be a, be a nice highlight tape, wouldn't it? Yeah. We'd probably go for two hours. A great strike rate. No matter the team, no matter the year, a set restart here for Gold Coast in a very handy position. Jolliffe. Now Verrills to Isaac Liu. And Liu only a few metres from the line. Verrills finds Boyd. Now for it. Here's Kelly trying to get to the outside of Katoni Staggs who hasn't missed his mark today, Katoni. Fantastic defensive centre for Fita. Bouncing off Walters into Ricky and Carrigan. This goal line defence holding, holding, but have Gold Coast snuck under their guard here. They had to scamper the likes of Reese Walsh and Ricky. Verrills doesn't look confident. Well, loves an opportunity, Verrills. We've seen him do that a number of times with the Roosters, a couple of times with the Titans. They were awake to it too. And Ricky did well to come off his line there to make the tackle. He's short. He loses possession on the way down too. Comes out short of the line. We're just looking at all available angles to see if it's just a loose carry. It is a loose carry. Sam Verrills loses the ball short of the line. We have a decision. So a close call for both teams now. Tell you what, they're aware to it. Knowing that Verrills loves to run from dummy half or tries those close range tries. Ricky got off the line, put pressure on him. Carrigan got him at marker. That's good defence from the Broncos. And let's underline it. They're having their best defensive year since 2015. Second best in the league this year behind Penrith's iron tight 13 points per game. The Bronx giving up 17 points per game. It served them well so far in this half. And one thing I'll have to chase up on is the restart after the no-try to Ezra Mann with Reese Walsh offside. Why wasn't a penalty to Gold Coast? Well, it looks like they, they went for the dead end goal, didn't it? 20 metre restart instead. They got the other end of the field okay, but here's Brisbane trying to counter. Billy Walters. Got a lot of involvement for Corey so far in this game. Here's his sixth carry of the afternoon. The coaches starting to go to their benches. Corey Jensen out there in jersey 15 for Brisbane. Flegler, little juggle before he gained full control. And angling his run at Tanner Boyd. So both these teams off the bye, a long break. 
And for that victory, Walsh, quick hands, beautiful for Cobo. It opens up a little good tackle. One on one, Kieran Forward on Selwyn Cobo. The kick from Reynolds. Taken by Brimson, gets away from one, two, three, still going AJ. There's a classic AJ Brimson return. Boyd to shot under pressure. He makes the catch, gets away from Pia Kulra beyond his 20. I've said it before, I'll say it again, they've come here with a mindset to move the ball, Stephen. Yeah, it was a strange sort of kick there from Reynolds up the short side. Brimson was in perfect position. But what about the footwork? We were talking about the fullbacks here a little bit earlier. This bloke is very underrated if you go up against Reese Walsh. They shifted the ball early. Here they go again. Now Boyd. Isaac Liu, 10 metres in the Brisbane Territory. Aaron Clark looking to ask some questions of the defence. His 13th game for Gold Coast this season. Through 21 last year. Good service off the bench. Boyd high out towards Oates. He barely needs to leave the ground to have a height advantage over Mo Fodawaka. A comfortable catch for Corey, backed up here by Farnworth. And back to the tap restart for Gold Coast instead of the penalty because he put his foot on the dead ball line. Seven tackles set for Gold Coast was the bigger advantage. Yep. Therefore, no penalty set re uh, 20 metre restart. Yeah, they've had a lot of field position, haven't they? The Titans just haven't been able to build that pressure. You know what I would be saying, we'll push around the ball a little bit more. There's a lot of one out running there from the Titans. It's exact opposite when the Broncos are running with it. And the kick relatively early in the set into plenty of space in the end. Brimson knocks the ball away from the sideline. And it's a handy kick by the Broncos. Reese Walsh delivery. Twenty years of age, and he delivers a play like that. He's shown us in the Origin Arena. He's not daunted. He's experienced or confident beyond his years. There's another example. He keeps playing like that and improving. He's going to be a long-term fullback for Queensland, if not Australia. So, Teddy probably at the back end of his career now. We've got a ready-made one. Gee, we've had some great ones over the years, haven't we? He finished in the spotlight on Wednesday night, but. Received only a fine for his origin scuffle with Jerome Luai. So he's out there for Brisbane. And now Liu puts it down for the second time today. His hand's just letting him down a little. Just watching Billy Waters' defence there. He might be a little bit injured there. Fodder Waker just ran straight through him, just hung on. It'll be long before he gets a little bit of a, a breather here. Just watch this for a run. Watch Billy's defence. Something wrong with his shoulder there for sure. Keep our eye on Wait. Billy Walters. We'll have Steve Renoff check on that after this. South Sydney against North Queensland. That one in Sydney, then over at Allianz Stadium across town, Roosters Canberra. What a matchup that is, especially when you look at the two number 13, Stephen. Victor Radley against Corey Horsburgh. There's a matchup to get you going. Oh, I'd love the fireworks. Wouldn't you like to be the old days, those two guys up against each other? <laughs> And then Sunday night with Matty John. So it's a, a footy feast this Sunday. Fox League delighted to bring it to you. Reynolds, the pass misguided, splitting to Tony Staggs and Walsh. And Foran gets through to, to shut it down. Still 14 minutes left in the first half, yet to break this deadlock. We're not going to go to half time locked at nil all on a sunny Sunday afternoon between two teams that attack like Gold Coast and Brisbane, surely. Now Reynolds, the kick, it was off the feeder. Cobbo gets it, goes back to Reynolds. Tackle count restarts. Adam Reynolds gets those little legs moving before he's wrapped up by Kelly. Carrigan. Now Walsh long. Corey Oates. Oates got away from Sami. Ball comes free. Penalty. Penalty to the Broncos. Well, maybe the Broncos are a little bit off with all their blokes backing up from state of origin and just expecting someone else to do all the, all the tough stuff. As you said, nil all at the moment. Here's their opportunity, 12 metres out. They're going to play on. And maybe you start to look at your bloke next to you and think, oh, well, you know, I might need a little bit of a rest here. They haven't been ruthless so far, the Broncos. This could kick started. In round seven, these teams combined for 69 points. 
boys. We've got Katani Staggs here on the sideline. They're getting a bit of treatment and possibly uh, dislocated the finger. Okay, thank you. Steve Renoff sideline for us. Jensen, good tackle. It was four and again. And a set restarts. They reload the Broncos. Carrigan right in front of the posts. And the crowd wills the Broncos on and in here. Jensen. Burton's a play on the same spot. Billy Walters long to man. Shows it once. Outside Walsh trying to get to the outside of Shop. It's come off Sami. And they'll get the ball back, Brisbane. How are we? Yeah, they've knocked the ball down there. Sami making the tackle. Walsh again showing his speed to get on the outside. Throws the ball to Oates. Ball knocked down. Yeah, Ricky too. He looks like he's in some sort of trouble. Here comes Isaac Fasul Mala Awi, younger brother of Tino, who's been given a rest out of origin. But Isaac actually came in for Cleese Haas, who's picked up a little niggle. Couldn't take his place in the team as listed earlier in the week. Would have been the first time Payne and Cleese went head to head. Didn't eventuate, unfortunately. Here's Brisbane, 10 metres out. Walters back of the scrum. And if he gave that ball, what happened on the outside instead? It's a strong tackle from shot on Walters. Flegler. Flegler. Tommy Flegler. Only a metre or so short for Fita and Verrill's important tackle there. Walters to Reynolds. And Ricky had overrun him. Forcing the half to hold the ball. For the wake up the tackle play for a long, long time. And there's the result. A set restart conceded by Mo Fodawaka. Can they hang on the Titans? They've been here for an eternity now. There's your answer. Carrigan to Flegler, who mightn't have grounded the ball. It's spewed out, but he's done OK. Tommy Flegler lands the first blow for Brisbane. Well, Matt, you know I was talking about players pushing up in and in around the, wall, around the, around the ball. The one-two punch there. Carrigan, Flegler, we mentioned before the game. And that was just shown there. It was highlighted. Carrigan starting to become a good passer before the line. Trying to get Stimson one-on-one -on -one with Flegler. He goes close just only a couple of seconds ago. They get the repeat set. Whether that was a hip drop or not, maybe they're going to have a look at that a little bit later on. But look at this. Catch and pass. Can't make the tackle. Legs tackle one-on-one. -on -one. Flegler scores. Can't gang tackle players who can pass before the line like that. And the Broncos finally... Get the rewards. Just his third NRL try blocker. You like seeing front rowers go in, and it's his first since mid 2021. Tommy Flegler finishes his first stint with a four pointer. He's plenty of energy shown in this game, too. He's come up with a couple of errors, but a couple of big hits to try and make up for it. He's the first try scorer for the Broncos. And boys, who, who would have thought that, uh, you know, we're 10 minutes to go in the second half and uh, you know they finally got over the line but uh, that, that means hopefully you know, things might open up for both teams. Yeah, 10 minutes left in the first half Steve. And the Broncos will look to use all of that as best they can. It's a good effort from Fleck. He leads away in the, in the running meters. There's the conversion. 58 meters so far getting himself involved. Gets a well-deserved rest on the sideline. Only a few days after Origin. Adam Reynolds nudges the kick in 6-0 on the back of Tom Flegler after his 37 minutes in origin on Wednesday. Part of the series for the last couple of years now, Tommy Flegler. Do you like that, Matt? Two big bodies coming at you. You've got to make the decision how to tackle them. You can't gang tackle with ball players coming at the line like that. Now it's up to Flegler to return the favour because Paddy Carrigan, of course, is on this 74 game try scoring drought the kickoff looks long that's in his career so he becomes the Alex 12 focus Paddy Carrigan when does the first try come he set them up on many occasions he's going to give one back to him 6-0 to the Broncos every game this season when scoring the first try a little statistical quirk for them also one follow-up when conceding, but 
They're perfect in terms of landing the first try and going on to win. Six from six. Here's AJ Brimson. Bouncing back into Billy Walters. Along with Jensen. Just got to stick at it now. The Gold Coast Titans have created a couple of opportunities in this first half. Haven't been able to complete them, but just got to stick at it now. Don't go into your shell. Just keep playing that style of football where they've thrown the ball around here in the first half. We mentioned great conditions. This... Gold Coast coming forward. Isaac Fasua Mala Awi. Now they go through the hands. Brimson to shot, who looked at Herbie Farnworth and said, I'm taking you on. Farnworth makes the stop. Salmon comes back to his half. So Boyd across the ground, out towards Cobbo again, who goes up above them all, loses it backwards. Ricky is forced to dive on the ball. And Selwyn does enough, just courtesy of a kind bounce. No nice self-preservation there from Cobbo. Takes the ball cleanly, ball comes out the back there. Holding on, kick it forward and never play it. Where do you want it? 20 metres, shot clock's on. Big call here. I was saying there was a bad play the ball there or something. Let's have a look at it again. To the line, Chris guys. Butler having no hesitation. Sort of lift yourself here, 10 metres out the Titans. They've got to come away with something. All the sort of ball in the 20 metre area. So there's a mistake in the play, the ball that's given Gold Coast great position here. Looking to level it up, having just conceded the first try. Lofi Khan Pereira. Comes from the open side, trying to catch Brisbane out down the short side. And now for Fita. There, wrapping up the ball, Jensen down low to stop his progress. For him, Clark for Boyd, who looked outside and straightened into the grasp of Hetherington. Again, Walters, the busy defender, making sure there's no ball offloaded. Now, Brimson slips into the tackle. Just a bump from Pierre Kura up high. Clark again with his defence, this line speed still really quick from the Broncos. Cutting down their options. Clark a little frustrated, last play. And they've been forced backwards mainly in this set. The kick into the in goal, too heavy. So not their finest few minutes, the Gold Coast Titans. No, and they've got, they've got to get those repeat sets there. That's what you get paid to do the big money for. Trent and Boyd, the halfback. A little bit too much on it. You put it down to the Broncos defence, have them ball watch just up. Put the pressure on him. Just rushed him, making make that decision there. It was Billy Wallers. Just put him off a little bit there. Jim Lenahan, the interim coach for Gold Coast, played with Ipswich, the Gold Coast Seagulls, remember them? St George Dragons and Huddersfield. And as a coach, a couple of Queensland Cup premierships with Burley. Time with the Balamble Jets and the last few years assistant at the Titans. Now interim head coach before Des Hasler arrives 24 through 26. Now, running onto the ball, Jensen. Finding the 20 metre line. So the ordinary set from Gold Coast backed up by a good one here from Brisbane. Tupou out there. Part of every game this year for the Broncos. The veteran interchange forward now. Reynolds inside, Walsh. Tried to skip through, then tried to kick. Couldn't do either cleanly. And in the end, it's Kieran Foran coming up with the ball. Brimson. How did AJ Brimson pick that ball up there for a moment? It looked like a knock on. So no Fodawaka did enough to at least stop the kick. He had to be on his toes there, Fodawaka. That's an important tackle there for the Titans. Walsh with his speed, set play through, back through the middle of the ruck. That's a special tackle. Steve ran off sideline. You must have come to Suncorp Stadium expecting more than one try in the first half here as we hang on a second for Tanner Boyd to get the kick away out towards the wing of Oates. The catch is made. Brisbane have it, but 
a strange game indeed compared to what many expected, Steve. Got to agree, Matty. You know, I was expecting this one, and uh, you know, to going at half time by the looks of it, it, it could be 6 0. Um, yeah, but hopefully more points on the board. Well, here's a man to deliver, Selwyn Cobbo. Who knows what he finds in the second 40 minutes? Here's Hetherington. Walters to man out the back. Face ball across Walsh, out to Farnworth instead. Sami makes the tackle. Last play now, Brisbane. Walsh is the option. Off the left foot, across the ground, racing through. Ricky putting pressure on. And in the end, Brian Kelly swats it dead. Well, Ricky was there. Kelly couldn't get to the ball on the full. What's on? The G had to play it at two, didn't he? They've got to hang on here, the Titans, just before half time, three and a half minutes. See, that was a good play there on the left hand side. If you have a look at Aaron's shot for the Titans, he's sprinting up out of the line, putting the pressure on. The cutout pass. And then we freed up the Brisbane Broncos again down that left hand side. He was intent on getting to Reese Walsh, and the ball just went straight across the face of the Broncos fullback. That was the ploy. Topao. That's it, Marty. Wind up, son. 14 seasons into his NRL career now. Here's Jensen, the former Cowboy in his second year as a Bronco. Inside the 20 after two plays. Hetherington to man. Piacorra back at the angle. Into Verrills. Walters. Jensen again. Long to Reynolds. Now the kick, and Tanner Boy just has to fall on it. Reynolds couldn't find it through the line. To the advancing attackers and Gold Coast through shop to Sami. Counter here. You know, Phil has that big right footstep, but yeah, Tanner Boy doing nice to clean, clean up in the replay box. Yeah, he did it nicely, didn't he? Just the expectation of. He does it a lot too, doesn't he, Reynolds, the captain of the Broncos, going to the line. Tanner Boyd read it pretty early. Got himself in a position to cut that off. There's Luffy. Khan Pereira giving a bit of room. He's away from Katoni Staggs. The kick as Reese Walsh came at him. It went into the Bronco and over the sideline. I don't reckon he plays it that well. That's what Reese is saying. Tackle? I believe he's trying to one pass. Where do you want it? Going for the ball. Where do you want it? Middle. We've just got to get on with it now. They've made the decision again. They've made a couple of breaks down this left-hand side with some good ball movement. And they can't challenge that. That's a subjective decision by referee Chris Butler. So the decision stands. Sit him in the back of the arm. Played out of the ball. Oh, Gold Coast. Cut a break. Can they use it, though? Here's Stinson driving forward. Dragging Hetherington with him. Five metres out. Gold Coast looking to lock it up at half time. Four and five for Fita. For Fita crashing through. Big David goes in. The call even more contentious now. The Titans are on the scoreboard. You know, this is the first time in the half that David Fafita, I know he's backing up from Origin, has wound up, got himself deep and run onto the football. Almost impossible. Here's the break. Down their left-hand side for the Titans, the right-hand defence kicks the ball in. Walsh turns his back on him. Doesn't play at the ball. We'll hear a lot more about that after the game, but it's play on. Look at the big fella wind up here. Little bit of depth. Great pass from Foran. You're not going to stop him that close to the line. Good play there from the Gold Coast Titans and also David Fafita. They get on the scoreboard just before half-time. A classic trademark David Fafita try. Backing up from his 50 minutes in origin. His fifth try of the campaign, the 42nd of his career. And he's having career numbers in his third season as a Titan. After starting, of course, his first three at Brisbane. So he's against his former club, he's landed a blow, and he's given Tanner Boyd the chance to lock it up at half time. A surprisingly low scoring first half on this beautiful. Brisbane afternoon. Are we going to be all square? Tanner Boyd, an 
percent goal kicker he shows us why as they head to half time the broncos and the titans are at six all they won their first five games of the season to set their year up they're trying to make it four straight wins today having down the warriors cronulla and newcastle over the last few weeks reese walsh not huge numbers today but he has been a huge presence as per usual yeah you know what i like most about this guy no, everyone talks about his speed and all that sort of stuff but his pass selection i think he's a wonderful player at the age of 20 to have the skill that this kid has got i'm expecting a big se a second half from him him for the broncos big run meters from fodawake and jola fita in the first half to back that up with some better finishing as Brisbane get us underway in the second half. The high kickoff taken by Fafita, who builds on those numbers straight away into Corey Jensen with Hetherington there if required. Now Fodawaker returning to the Origin Arena this year off the back of such a strong season for Gold Coast. They'll go inside the top eight if they win today. Take the ladder with a few grains of salt, of course, because the Titans have had their three buys. This is the start of 11 straight games for them before the finals. Six of their last 10 games at home. So they have that in their favour as Fafita runs it to Paul. Gold Coast's try scorer just before half time, David Fafita. And now Boyd, high, a lot of hang time here, but no one able to get through and put real pressure on Walsh, who surveys the landscape and says, I'll surrender, thank you very much. Yeah, it was a great time to score for the Gold Coast Titans, right on the stroke of half time, and give them plenty of energy too. They would have got a fair rev up from the coach. Be pretty confident. That's a good set to start them. They've got the, the Broncos on their own goal line. Good chase through, just got to keep at it. Corey Oates built in the first half nicely. And that... That run there takes him up and above 100 run metres for the game. His 10th carry of the game. Veteran now, 11 seasons at Brisbane. Jensen trying to put his way through. Nice and smoothie, the only Bronco yet to be used in this game. Number 14 as Reynolds gets the kick away. High down to Khan Pereira. Gold Coast lifted in the tackle here. Pereira. Toby Hetherington, the man to infringe, and that's an easy one for Chris Butler. Well beyond the horizontal. Yeah, got him up a little bit high, too. That's the hardest part, getting them up. Once they're up there, comes a little bit more comfortable there. Pereira there with a the kick return. I was just going to say the Broncos chase, not that good, but the tackle, that's dangerous do that anymore happened so quickly but that with two in the tackle that makes it a little bit more difficult to control Marty Topau oh in over the back as Hetherington oh lifted Khan Pereira and it's a great leg up for the Titans that not have to work the ball off their own line they kick for touch they start their set on the halfway line the Titans won their last game at Suncorp Stadium against Parramatta at Magic Grounds is Isaac Fasul Malaawi. They've also won both the previous Sunday Suncorp games against the Broncos. So a little something for Titans fans to believe in in this second half. They always believe in AJ Brimson. In his sixth year of NRL at the Titans. Mo Fodawaka. Clark shows it. Takes the tackle from Hetherington. Got to support Clark there. He's got the ability to get that ball away. Fasul Malawi, Isaac to four, and Fafita gets the ball away. Brian Kelly for the corner. Jordan Ricky couldn't get underneath him sufficiently. And Brian Kelly gets his third for the year. Gold Coast hit the front early in the second half. Yeah, so good to see David Fafita again getting one-on-one -on -one here. And then the offload. Kelly just supports the big fella. You don't run off blokes who can't get you the ball. This bloke is very good at it. Bounces out. Reynolds can't make the tackle, the offload. What a start. You can take it down to the dangerous tackle. They got up over the halfway line. Reynolds can't make the tackle on the big man. The offload, it's got great skills. Kelly scores. Scored just on the stroke of half time and first in the second half. She's game on now. 
Well, they've found the front often this season, including round seven against Brisbane. And so often, so frustratingly for Justin Holbrook, haven't been able to close it out. Is tonight, or this afternoon, a day where they start to change that trend? Well, if you want to be snapped into an effort, the Broncos, that'll put it right on you. Allowing the opposition to score in the stroke of half time, first and the second half. If they weren't aware that this is going to be a game, they are now. Well, the left side of Gold Coast came into this game as their least productive side, scoring fewest tries in the league down the left, but both tries today have come on that side. And Tucker Boyd kicking from out near that sideline. Needs it to hold its line. It follows the trajectory to the left of the uprights. But have a look at the two tries, Steve Roach. Firstly, a beautiful pass from Kieran Foran to find David Fafida, and he crashes in straight after halftime. Same fingerprints on the ball. Foran, Fafida, only this time one more pass for Kelly. Yeah, he's got a good pass selection, hasn't he? Foran, he knows exactly the right time to throw the no-look pass or get it quickly to Fafida, who's powering onto the ball. Let's go to Steve Renoff sideline. What a start. What a way to come out of the sheds for Gold Coast, Steve. Oh, wow. And what, what a potent combination of uh, Foran and Fafita. And they've shown it twice today, and I'm sure there'll be more. Yeah. Why not keep going there? Who cares what the stats say over the first 16 rounds of the season? All of a sudden, the left is working for Gold Coast, and Kelly has some life in his legs all of a sudden. Well, if... Kevin Walters was a little frustrated at half time. He won't be feeling much better now. As Mo Fodawaka comes forward. Now Clark. Kevin Walters, you identified that little knock he copped early in the game. He seems to be okay now. Blocker. Getting involved defensively. He's come, yeah, he's come up with a couple of real good tackles, but he, he's missed a few too. So, a hooker on the bench there. There's the Titans again. Masumala, we're looking for Brimps, and it was almost there. It's been knocked on twice, but Isaac Fasumala, we nearly provided his fleet footed fullback with a clear passage. Well, you know, the great thing about this is they're creating opportunities. It was Brimson just doubled around, couldn't catch the footy there. Tell you what, what a contest it would be with his footwork too. Walsh, we, we've been waiting for it. Walsh up against Brimson. You don't see fullbacks come against each other that often. I would have loved to have seen that. Steve Renoff, we saw how animated Kevin Walters was at halftime. What info did you get out of the two sheds? Yeah, very frustrated Kevin Walters. Really looking for the boys to, to get down to fundamentals and just go back to the basics. Hey. Led 6 0, allowed Gold Coast to go in right on the stroke of half time, and now playing from behind through Jordan Ricky. Billy Walters, since he returned from that ACL at West Tigers, he's played so tough. He's found himself in the discussion in and around Ben Hunt, who is reportedly headed for Brisbane. What that means for Billy is it back to the bench in the number 14 role, and here's an easy penalty. Aaron Clark came up with the ball too in the tackle. Quick tap and go. Brisbane trying to catch them out. Reese Walsh kicked the ball and chased hard. Khan Pereira gets across to clean up. Well, there was an opportunity for Brisbane to build some pressure after the penalty. They burn that chance on the first play. Well, they haven't had the ball in the second half so far, have they? It's been all the Gold Coast Titans. They got the first try. They got a chance to build a bit of momentum there. Walsh, a little bit of a brain explosion. I don't mind it, but how did it come off? We were going, what a genius. Quick tap. Aaron Clark couldn't help himself. To chip and chase and back his speed, but didn't strike the ball as he planned. Tanner Boyd high down the ground. Walsh back in position. Surrender. How much better would you feel about Brisbane's premiership chances blocker if this week it's announced that Ben Hunt is going back there to see out the season? Oh, I feel for the players that are already there. They're near on the top of the competition. I mean. Didn't Ben say he didn't want to play hooker? I know he's playing for Queensland there, and Saints every now and again he's playing halfback. He did say he wants to win a premiership. Well, they're saying he's going to play hooker here. 
I don't, I don't get it. With Billy Walters back to the bench, perhaps. And I think the league should step in and say, mate, you've signed a two-year deal. Stick to it. Ben Hunt starting nine and also helping Kevy sleep a little easier at night, knowing he's got a backup should Adam Reynolds or Esme Mam get injured in the halves. Anyway, all that's to unfold in what will be another busy news week as Reynolds high down the ground. Brimson makes the catch. And AJ can't get too far beyond his 20 straight up to this game. South Sydney against North Queensland. Warren Smith, Cooper Cronk, Darcy McDonald to bring you that game on Fox League. And then Roosters Raiders to wrap up round 17. 6.15 kickoff, 6.15 Eastern. The Raiders, it seems an eternity ago that they went down to the Warriors. You know what I like about Brimson? He's trying to get his hands on the footy as much as he can. That's twice in that set. He got the ball a little bit earlier, but he was in open space. So he's trying to get the Gold Coast the best he can. Trying to get him home here. Tino's little brother again, Isaac, driving forward in that tackle. Out there in jumper 19, the 21-year-old is for it, kicks this time. Reese Walsh will be under a bit more pressure and catches as he goes to ground. It's Khan Pereira standing over the top of him. Cobo, tough run. I think it's nearly been the whole game so far. Field position for the Broncos, they haven't had hardly any. Been all the Titans with the field position. And they jump the gun here, give away a penalty. Gold Coast with more than 60% of the territory block here, spot on. This will help. They also dominate possession. You know how potent they are when they actually get in that zone. So, so Chris Randall finds his way onto the field. Can you all of a sudden flip out of your slumber? They think that it was just going to happen here this afternoon for the Broncos. Well, I certainly did. Anyway, it sounds like... Well, you tell me, Blocker, in your 185 games at Balmain, how easy was it just to flick a switch, I suppose? Pretty hard. At times in 89, it, it, you did it, given the success that season. But what's the spark here? Well, Who would you be looking for in this Brisbane lineup to flick the switch? Well, I'm, look, I'm, looking, I'm looking for Reese Walsh to get up and around the ball a little bit more and try and do exactly what... Brimson is doing. We know what ability they've got. We know how how good they are at scoring long-range tries, but it doesn't just happen. You've got to make it happen. Jensen driven backwards after that carry by Jordan Ricky. He's one man who can spark something. Jordan Young, confident, aggressive. Nothing smoothie out there in Jersey 14 as Walsh runs out of ideas and options. Goes back to Reynolds, middle of the ground. He'll kick. And chase hard. Kelly leads the race. The ball bouncing too far. And Reynolds concedes the seven tackle set to Gold Coast. Now, see, I, I don't know how many blokes on the outside knew that that kick was on there from Reynolds. The weight wasn't right on it. And the chase, not that good. I thought Kelly read it pretty easily and comfortably. Ball goes dead in goal. Again, another mistake here from the Risen Broncos. I reckon what Kevy's looking for is see how ruthless they are. When they're under pressure, and they're behind on the scoreboard now, what they come up with. And look at this from Randall Hart into Mam. Two little men with a big bump in between them. Chris enjoyed that, Ezra not so much. Now Foran, Brimson, Kelly, Khan Pereira away from Selwyn Cobbo. There's a show of speed. And the Titans leading try scorer in 2023. Post another one, number 14 for Lofi Khan Pereira, who leaves Selwyn Cobbo in his wake. Well, you talk about blokes with speed off the mark, showed him the sideline, and he said, Oh, Khan Pereira says, I'll take it. Off he went. You can all put it down to the dead in goal kick there from Reynolds a little bit earlier. Now, here's the ball. Cobbo caught in field a fair bit. Khan Pereira just takes off. Welsh can't come across quick enough. Just have a look where he's caught in land here, 10 metres in field. And he backs himself. Cobo knew it too. At full speed, Selwyn Cobo is a sight, but it does take a little bit of time to get wound up, especially if he's carrying that hip pointer niggle still. But the way that Khan Pereira went around him. Well, I love the way that they identified it straight away through Kelly. Coppo was caught in field. Let's give him some early ball and back himself here. That one's for you, Dad. Nice touch, Lofi Khan Pereira. 
He's got some pace, hasn't he? I mean, as you mentioned, probably might be a little bit injured. I bet he doesn't show him the sideline with that much space again. And it's all to do now for the Broncos. Very important kick, this one. 26 minutes to play, and Lofty Khan Pereira, 11 carries, 206 run metres, if you don't mind. I want to give Mo Fodawaka a wrap, too. Backing up from origin, 128 metres. He's doing it well through the middle. He's been relentless with 12 carries. He's had a good mate in David Fafita on the edge, but it's been Fodawaka through the middle. Absolutely. from the sideline this one looks better this one is beautiful a very handy advantage for the Gold Coast Titans who lead Brisbane 16 points to six Steve Renoff what about this speed down Suncorp Stadium something you know all about Pereira what about that speed he, he did burn Selwyn Cobbo and look they, they targeted that side uh, in the set first half and, and he got down the track as well so you know just that brilliant speed that that bottom end speed uh, was just too good for Cobbo and you're right Steve this is flipping the stats on their heads because Brisbane can see the fewest tries down their right side the Gold Coast score the fewest down their left side, but today that's where it's happening for them. Yeah, it's amazing too, and they've just kept going there, so that's a good game plan. I think that was a loose carry, the ball's gone out the back, but good defence there, they're firing up now. Is there an upset brewing here? Still a long way to go in this one. The Queensland derby, now Brisbane muscle up. Round seven, the Broncos winning a bizarre game, 43-26 coming from behind in that one. Do they do it again this afternoon? Sam Verrill sets off out of dummy half. Driven back over his lower legs by Kirby Farnworth. Randall, Philip Sami. Now the kick down the middle of the ground. It finds Walsh on the full, and Reese skips to the outside straight into Aaron Schock. There's a nice tackle there from Schock. Reese decided just to hang on to the ball, but he returned the ball a lot better and a lot further than what I thought there. The kick chase not there from the Titans. That'll be good in all areas now. The Titans are going to win this one. He is Farnworth. A long while to go in this game before we're back to Sydney, South Sydney, North Queensland. Cowboys off back-to-back -back wins. In fact, they've lost or won five of their last eight. They build some more momentum. Here's Ricky. Walking his way inside the 20. Still standing, Jordan Ricky. Reynolds taking his time. Really measuring this kick out towards the wing where it's still a contest. And Piacora on the loose ball. Brendan Piacura claims his second try of the season. Well, it's come off Sami's head, I think it is here. Competing for the football again, we see Corey Oates. We, we mentioned how tall the Brisbane Broncos wingers are. Competing for the football all the time. I think you might find that this comes off Sami's head. Piacura gets there, wins the race. Let's have a look at the hands on the ball here. Oh, does it come off? Does it come off Oates' thumb? Well, yet to be confirmed. Corey Oates, Philip Sami in the contest. Yeah, it's come off, it's come it's off, come off the, to knock the on. thumb. To knock on. Of Corey Oates. And then gone forward. So, unfortunately for Brendan Piacura, you'd imagine, unless we're misreading this blocker, it will be under review, looked at again, and declared no try. Yeah, I think they'll take this one away from him. While they go through this process, worth Looking mentioning that from Corey H, Brendan Piacura is in the team because Kurt Capewell, so good for the Broncos, has a quad this issue. He's been cleared up until this point. Not expected back until round Corey Oates 21. touches the ball and knocks it towards the opponent's dead ball line. ball is then regathered by a Broncos player. We have a decision. 
So the try they crave will be taken away from them. Brisbane. Pierre Coulter into the starting lineup. Capable to miss this game and the Dolphins game at the Gabba next weekend. Then there's another bye for Brisbane, allowing him to return round 20 against Canterbury. Hopefully with that quad issue cleared up, Steve. Yeah, it's amazing when you're on a bit of a roll and you're winning back-to-back -back games and you're starting to get a fair few wins, things start to go your way. But when you're up against it, 16-6 at the moment, things starting to go against the Broncos. Still plenty of time left, but so they're the sort of things you've got to nail. Well, Steve Renoff seeing a Bronco score a try or a, a ledge try and headgear would have had you out of your seat, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, let's bring let's bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, the sight of a Bronco in headgear going past him has tormented many an opponent of Steve Renoff. What a sensation he was. Great to have your sideline with us, Steve. The Mergen Mustang to Brisbane Bronco, Queensland Maroon, Australian Kangaroo. One of the great attacking rugby league players. And the genius set the out ball from Kevy Walters. Remember that in the test match? World Cup final, was it? It's burnt into the memory banks, Blocker. Kevy in the coach's box. Steve Renoff sideline for Fox League. He's Cobbo. Now Corey Oates. So one winger, then the other winger. Not a lot of go forward for Brisbane. Not a lot of momentum yet. Maybe Pan, Payne Haas provides. Two at the venue. The good at today. Wrapping him up. Tipping two and three in the tackle. He's only had one offload. Payne Haas. Topal through Reynolds. Here's Walsh again. To Tony Stagg straight through. Back to Reese Walsh. He's gone. The Broncos get their try. The comeback is on. The crowd lifts. And Reese Walsh handling a couple of times in that attacking raid. In the end, it unfolded remarkably easily for yeah, Brisbane. To, to Tony Staggs, been brilliant all season. Gee, he's been good this afternoon defensively too. A lot of one-on-one -on -one tackles. But this time, we see his attacking brilliance. Reese Walsh involved, the offload just stays alive back on the inside. Once the break was made, enjoys scoring tries, this young fella. The Broncos, after being pulled back a little bit earlier, through a knock-on from Corey Oates, they got over the strike, but was called back. Reese Walsh gets one. Right pick boots, fist pump for the crowd. 18 try assists and that is his fifth try now so contributing directly to 23 of the Broncos tries when you go to his other involvements I lose count blocker but when it comes to offloads tackle busts run meters try assists and try scored you got to keep looking at the age and seeing 20 years mm, what will he achieve over the next decade what are we having a look at here with it is it whether Kieran Foran was impeded or something? I think so. What are you looking at? Thanks. Looking for an obstruction. David Fafita. OK. Was there an obstruction on David Fafita? He contacts David Fafita, oh. which knocks him to the ground. While well, the defensive back, structure it? of the Titans on the left-hand side hasn't changed, Brisbane continue to run and then play back to the inside and deny, it denies David yep. Fafita an opportunity to continue to chase and defend the play. Who initiated the contact between Fafita and Jordan Ricky? Well, he played it pretty well. Academy Award there for Fafita. <laughs> Was Ricky given an opportunity to get through the line there or did David run into him? Anyway, Bunker has reviewed that multiple times and made their decision. I've said that David was following the ball and Ricky knocks him over, therefore de denying him the chance to come through in cover, to turn and cover. I was talking about little things that go against you too when you're behind on the scoreboard. Here's another one. We saw Kevin Walters fired up at half-time. His team hasn't scored since the resumption. And now been denied twice by the bunker. Penny for your thoughts now, Kev. With 
22 minutes left. But you reckon if, if Walsh gets that ball in open space after the play's played on like that, do you think Fafita's going to match it with him for speed? The you know answer what is no. Is be? The answer is no, but letter of the law, Stephen. Denied him the opportunity. <laughs> we can argue about that tomorrow night, NRL tonight, before NRL 360, where there will be plenty to discuss. A meeting tomorrow between Dragons administrators and Ben Hunt with the Titans and Brisbane sweating on the result of that meeting. And only 10 points the difference here, still with more than 20 to play. The game is still on the line. The Gold Coast go inside the top eight, at least until Canberra play this evening against the Roosters, or the Brisbane come back and go to the top of the table again. 20 minutes to decide that. Verrills for Boyd. His kick will be taken. No, dropped and getting through there. Aaron Shop on the loose ball. Into the end goal for the try. The Titans get another one. Corey Oates couldn't hang on. Gee, that's a great effort to go the length of the field. Gee, how tight can change straight away. They could have scored two tries down the other end, would have denied the Broncos. The Titans just stick at it. A crossfield kick here from Tanner Boyd. Got full running there for the Titans, Sami. And Shop gets the ball down. Let's have a look at the hands here. On the back pedal, he's got full of running. No, that's all off Corey Oates. And Shop on the spot to score. Rush the fingers of Philip Sami. Are we going to have a third try taken away by the bunker? Grounding good. Yeah, he does touch it. Off yeah. the fingertips of yeah. Philip Sami. I'm with you. It was about to be an amazing turnaround. Brisbane denied at one end. Gold Coast scoring at the other. But Another one Casey Badger. She doesn't mean to be, but she's moving party poop this afternoon, isn't she? And I think that Casey will identify a touch as you and I already have, Stephen. Yeah, you can see the bend of his fingers. Just looking at yes. the fingertip of Phil, Philip yeah. Sammy, he touches the ball yeah. here. We had a, a really long... And the ball is then knocked towards the opponent's dead ball line. Really long review on Friday night in Wollongong. And the ball is then regathered by the Titans. And I heard Without Andrew Voss raise the discussion yesterday. Do we need to go through all the replays again when the bunker has already seen the problem and therefore declared the need to review? Could we not just say, well, as you've spotted in those first replays, the bunker has spotted a knock on? Mm. Cutting down the need to then go through the review again. Not all the time. But obvious ones like that. Well, if you can see an obvious one like that, you just get, let's get on with it. I mean, it's frustrating for the fans at home. Sitting there, you can go and make a cup of tea sometimes by the time they make up a decision. And the fans at home have three games today. Block of Souths against North Queensland next. Then Roosters Raiders. Infringement, so the Broncos reload. We should say that... The NRL has worked so hard to make the speed of the game what it is, and ball in play is phenomenal compared to other codes. Just one small area that might come under review. Moving forward, six again here to increase what has already been some fantastic gains to the game as Ha stands and surrounded by three Titans. Tackle zero. Man. The crowd tries to will their team on, and Carrigan responds. Strong carry indeed. And applauded by a big crowd at Suncorp Stadium. Now Hetherington. Smart tackle. Joe Stimson in around the legs blocker. One on one. Smoothie for Reynolds. And this is Ricky. Campbell out there now. Reynolds for Haas, and ball playing through the middle. Carrigan flicks it back towards Payne. He didn't knock it on. Here's Farnworth. Herbie Farnworth stepping, powering. He couldn't reach out. That was all he required at the death. Now Smoothie. 
Reynolds, man, man, Ezra man, Ezra man says yes man, I got there, Brisbane, they're in, and this time they won't be denied, Brian Kelly's upset by something, Ezra man is dragged away from him, but Brisbane, with this big crowd chanting their name, have conjured a much needed try. And what about the determination there from Mam to score the try? With plenty of interest around him. Three defenders. Does he get the ball down here? Yep. Or does he? You get the ball down before the fingers go under, but you can put it down to Patrick Carrigan. He's a man that made a couple of good charges right through the middle, mixes his game up well. I reckon we'll be having a look at this one too, won't we? Well, it's only got to touch a blade of grass. And that's all it may have done there. And it may not have done that either. But it's a close one, isn't it? Ezra Mann. Well, I hope Casey Badger didn't go to get a cup of tea because she's required again. Yep, they've awarded it. Try confirmed. I've seen the student hit the grass in the in goal, and Ezra Mann is indeed a, a determined little bugger. Ezra Mann. We always talk about the bloke who eventually gets the try, but mate, Carrigan's charges when it was needed to get him right in that middle. Gee, he mixes his game up so well. And quick play the balls. Farmworth nearly got there himself, didn't he, with a great determined run. Finally, it was Mam. Game on now. Adam Reynolds to get it back within a converted try. Flags are up, 16-12. Ezra Mam last year, 13 games, six tries. In his second season, he's gone to 15 games, eight tries. It's a career that's building really nicely, Steve Renoff. Sure is. It's, a, it's the pocket rocket from Logan. And what about the strength he showed to get over that line? Okay, Gold Coast Titans, their lead trimmed back to four. They've already conceded four double figure advantages to be beaten this year. Their fans desperately hoping it's not five this afternoon. They led it 16-6, 10 points. So four times already they've led by double figures this season and been run down. They're trying to hold on or restore a double figure lead at least in the last 17 minutes here. In order to get the confidence about playing in second halves of footy, I mentioned it a little bit earlier before the game. They're great in the first half and they're very competitive. And this will prove it to themselves that they going and beat the Broncos, the big brother. So high scoring when these teams met earlier this season, much tighter this afternoon as Reynolds gets a torpedo bomb away. Brimson gets the grab and goes beyond his 20 metre line. The Titans win this, they'll be seven and seven for the season. Starting a run of 11 games without a bye to the finals. They're done in terms of weeks off. Kelly always trying to play Strong for them. Backed up by Khan Pereira. Dragged down by Katoni Staggs and finished off by Smoothie. Now Sami. Long way from his wing to get involved. Verrills finds Fodawaker. Mo Fodawaker, that run takes him up above 150 run metres for the game blocker. Well above his already impressive season average. He's come out of origin really well, and Fafita says this is the final play. I bet a kick. He's bombed the bad down to Cobo, who's held by Campbell Grimley. Well, that tackle wouldn't be sanctioned by a boxing authority. Jaden Campbell on Selwyn Cobo, but Jaden stayed in the fight and nailed his man. Yeah, he did. It's, a, it's an interesting move, too, to bring Jaden Campbell on. Obviously, it was 16. With him scoring 16 points already. They need a couple more. They obviously think they do. It'll be interesting to see how his defence goes. Carrigan with an offload. And we marked the involvement of Patrick Carrigan leading up to Ezra Mam's try as the crucial element. As Carrigan looked to really inject himself, impose himself on the final 15 minutes here. This man certainly will. Payne Haas. 
Reynolds kicking on the 40 metre line, sending it high out towards the wing where the Titans don't contest. Khan Pereira gets back there, but the ball rolls back to the kicker. Reynolds, he sits it on the ground for Staggs, who kicks again very near to the sideline. This is scramble play from Brisbane. Brian Kelly brushes away from Reynolds, gets away from Walsh, and now Ricky picks him up and carries him towards the Eastern Grandstand. That was a bit of weird play, wasn't it? it showed the desperation there from the Broncos to keep the play alive. And Poppins get the foot football back now. Just hope they stick at it. Keep playing footy here for the Titans. Hope they don't go, don't go into their shell. Try and one, two, run 2-1 out. Been very good at opening up the play here against the Broncos here this afternoon. Shot. Don't forget, this is game one of three on your Sunday ticket. South, North Queensland next, and then Andrew Vos, Shane Flanagan, Jake Duke to bring you Roosters Raiders, a Sunday evening offering in round 17. Verrills goes to the line and kicks down towards Cobbo. And Selwyn tries to wind up, running straight at David Fafita. Probably better options in terms of targets in your run. Now Oates. Well, the other thing too is a kicking game there from Verrills. Just said a dummy half. It was a kick for nobody. Understand the chases have got to be there. Walsh looking to offload the ball. Knocks it on. Now man. Knock one now. That was passed back into the leg. This one's a knock on. So a stoppage as the sides were going up through the gears. been interesting to see how that was ruled by Reese Walsh. Man kept it on the toe and then to make sure that he knocked the ball on. I reckon it was play on, I reckon it was play on up until then. Walsh. So up next, Cody Walker, he's back, he's in off that quad issue. Tom Burgess playing for South Sydney as well. We know Damien Cook and Cam Murray were named in the team. They look set to go after Origin. Damien Cook playing hooker today. Now, shot over halfway. That's next, Rabbitohs, Cowboys. Campbell. Here's Tanner Boyd for Mo Fodawaka. Team news on that next game will give you shortly as Campbell to Fafita, the inside ball for Brinson. Campbell back to his half and Boyd goes off the right foot out towards Corey Oates' wing. This time Corey makes the grab. Comes down with it and Brisbane down by four, come off their own 10 metre line. Well, there's still plenty of time left. I just hope they don't try and play willy-nilly and try and offload the ball at every occasion now. The Brisbane Broncos get themselves down the other end and put some pressure on. Still plenty of time left. 11 minutes. So in that game to follow us, Stephen, Damien Cook, Cam Murray confirmed starters for South Sydney. Nanai, Torlangi, Val Holmes, Ruben Cotter, Reese Robson. They're all playing for the Cowboys. They're all backing up. How good is it to just if you haven't got a niggly injury or anything, you've got to repay the club or the players that you play with that, that got you there in an origin jumper. So good to see Blake's backing up. Ricky to Walsh, who's one of six origin players backing up in this game, will get seven in the next contest. Warren Smith, Cooper Cronk, Darcy McDonald to bring you that one. Reynolds chips, chases, needs the bounce. It's off the Titans. The tackle count restarts. Carrigan sees that. Goes long. A show of skill. Oates looking inside. Tanner Boyd goes in the touch. Brisbane will get the ball back. They pushed their luck there. And in the end, they needed some luck to make sure they stayed in possession. Well, it's exactly what I was saying. You can't just all of a sudden become flamboyant in what you're doing. There's plenty of time left on the clock. Whether you've been driven in the touch there, Poor old Tanner Boyd tried to hit in field. That is an important tackle from Farnworth. 
It's a great tackle. They'll get the football back here. Middle third of the field. Let's see what they can come up with now, the Broncos. Flegler, a try scorer in the first half. Tyson Smoothie out there. In Jersey 14, just his second NRL game of the season. Reynolds, Walsh, his man! It's been intercepted by Luffy Khan Pereira, who'll be told to come back. The whistle sounds in the background. Khan Pereira can't hear it. He says, Dad, I've got a second one for you. And Dad says, no, Luffy, sadly, you've got to go back. And they're saying it's a knock-on, are they? Or were the Titans on their goal it's line on onside? Chris Butler has called Carl Pereira back. Mate, that was game over, wasn't it? Let's have a look and see if this ball's touched. Would have been hard. They've ruled it off Brian Kelly. Knock on. Time's off. So the pass from man ricochets into the arms of Brian Kelly back into Ezra before it goes to Khan Pereira. So a lot happening there. It was almost going to be one of those afternoons for the Broncos. <laughs> Nothing went right for them. <laughs> and they get the call there. The Broncos have had two tries denied by the bunker. Gold Coast won. Busy, busy afternoon for Casey Badger back at Everly in Sydney. After all of that, it's 16-12 Gold Coast. First game after they parted ways with Justin Holbrook with interim. Jim Lenahan in their head coaching role. Hoping to win first up. His team will have to tackle here. Walsh. Walsh! First play. Reese goes to Corey Oates. And they've called it forward. So Gold Coast denied. Brisbane denied, and the crowd standing as one again. I'll tell you what, I want to have a look where his hands are here, Walsh, as he offloads the ball. Oh, good call. Yeah. Middle, shot box on. What do you think, Matt? Forward out of the hands, the replays look forward. You just saw the it line all there. forward. Let's go, guys. Reese says, no, it didn't look forward through my eyes. They might be beautiful eyes, Stephen, but they've read that one incorrectly according to the replay. He, he, he was sure of the call to the referee. Not in a great position to see the forward pass back, mark of the 10 metres, but he called it pretty quickly. If you have a look at the line too, just as he was coming to the line, it floated forward. Just look at the hands Stay there. I, I think it's a good call. Break. Supporters will disagree. You didn't see it, you weren't watching. Captain's challenge coming here. Casey, we have a captain's challenge. The on field decision is a strip. Casey's going to get paid overtime here. This Eight afternoon. minutes left. It's looking at the hand of Tyson Smoothie to see if there's intent to strip. He's got his hand on the ball, for starters. As he pull it down in the motion. Is that enough? Tyson over? Smoothie pulls the ball out. Mm. The challenge is successful. Are you happy with that call, Steve Roach? Mm. Was there enough of a stripping motion there to get you Unsuccess. on board with Casey Badger. Well, nothing's gone the Broncos' way so far in this game, so why should that be any different? He did have his hand on the ball, but I don't know whether he ripped at it. I want to go to an exciting player who made a knack of coming up with a decisive match-winning play. Steve Renoff, sideline for Fox League. Give me one target in each team who can produce something special late here. Well, I, I think we've got to go to the two fullbacks. We start. We spoke about the start of the game. AJ Brisson and, and Reese Walsh. Uh, they're game breakers and, and skipping desperation times. Absolutely, Reese Walsh very close to delivering that moment. Not too far ago, does AJ Brimson come into the contest in the last seven and a half minutes to put it beyond doubt here? Campbell, another potential target on that front. Brimson gets the ball away to Camp. He comes across the field. What's the option? Outside for shot. 
Aaron Shop straightens. Easily read by the defence. Asami couldn't skip out of the tackle of Ezra Mann. Possession now evenly split as Boyd goes across the ground towards Cobo, who climbs above them all and comes back with it. Selwyn Cobo beats one, two. How many has he beaten on this run? <laughs> Too many because he's gone behind one of his own players. Construction. And now they'll be March 10 go to, go to the for back chat. I reckon Walsh will go to the, the bin here. You can see Reese Walsh coming up in support when Selwyn Cobbo elected not to use him and go behind him. There was nowhere Reese could go. go and here's an easy decision. Up by four, a goal here to make it 18-12, converted try the difference. By the time they restart, there'll be just over five minutes to play. Yeah, well, it's a gimme, isn't it? Just to the left of the upright, you would say. Just taking the ball on the mount now, Tanner Boyd. I think I'd be taking the shot at goal too. It doesn't mean the Broncos afternoon, but let's not take anything away from the Gold Coast. They've been great down their left-hand side. A number of breaks there. They've scored three tries down that side. They've obviously pinpointed that this afternoon as a weakness for the Broncos. And they've executed the game plan by the look of it. About to lead 18-12. Tanner Boyd. And he's two of three today. This one in very comfortable range for an 80% goal kicker. And it's six points the difference. Five minutes to go here. Enough time for... Brisbane to at least force Golden Point. Quick try here and they'll set up the chance to win it late. After this one, can Souths make it eight straight wins against North Queensland? I've won the last seven in a row. Admittedly, three of them have been by a point. What's the margin this afternoon? And which team's in front? There are the Cowboys warming up at Sydney Olympic Park, about to take on South Sydney. As we mentioned, seven players backing up from Origin. The short kickoff is taken by Sami. He made it his own, a confident catch, and they'll milk the clock some more. We'll just try and wind down the clock here. Hopefully they can get up the other end of the field and try and get a repeat set. Can't afford to make a mistake here. Verrills under Fodawaka. That final game today, Roosters, Raiders, Luke Keary expected to play in that. Remarkable, and it's fantastic for Luke after fearing a fractured jaw that he's been cleared to play against Canberra in your 6-15 game this evening. Verrills. Now Campbell, wrapped up by Flegler. And Reynolds was just pushed out of the way on suspicion. Boyd. Kicking towards the corner of Corey Oates. It's where they want to keep the Broncos. Aaron Schott chased well. How do they get up the field, Brisbane? Only beaten four times this season. Three of them have been here by Canberra, by Souths, and by Penrith. Our Gold Coast about to join that list. If they win, go seven and seven and into the top eight. Walsh, Cobo, and Khan Pereira gets his man. Reynolds, this is Hetherington. Jolliffe up quickly. Jamin Jolliffe enjoying his starting role. And Reynolds, the big kick inside the 40. One of the sort of bounce that. Will catch Khan Pereira or Kelly in this instance out. Brian has it covered. And Flegler gets him. So they're closing in on victory, the Gold Coast. It's just got to have that desperation to get behind the ball. There's a good run too. What about that setting up your set? Oh, what Phillips Army, fantastic. Eventually felled by Farnworth. And well done to backing it up for feeder. Good charge. Oh, no, no, no. The knee of David Fafita 
trapped awkwardly here and he screams straight away. He's reaching for an ankle. Let's hope this is just a scare rather than a reflection of his early reaction and carrying it here. It's a drop tackle. Well, that second replay was picked up after the majority of the contact had been made. So Paddy Carrigan just determined to get across and make the tackle. But how will the bunker review this? He'll be on report here, Carrigan. It's going to be a play of the ball, guys. For sure. It's going to be a play of the ball. He's falling in the back of his leg. Not saying that he meant to do it. It does any time when he lands on the ground, and then it's just incidental afterwards. There's the explanation. He's missing the third thing, mate. Come on. Body it's lands on the ground. Well, it's almost as if the body landed on the ground and then bounced back up onto the ankle of David Fafita. What difference does that make? You're still getting pulled over a body. One to discuss after full time with two minutes left. So a controversial tackle for Fita. Seemingly OK, thankfully. Big sigh of relief to the Titans and also the Broncos, perhaps. With no injury out of that contact. He put it down to that run from Sami just a little bit earlier. 30 metre return. We go inside the final two. And again, the kick is out towards Corey Oates with shot sweating on him. Man. Farnworth. They're switched on defensively. The Titans up quickly. Not committing, but trapping the Broncos in their 20. Haas. Held by Liu and Jolliffe and Randall in there as well. Carrigan. Well, two plays left and then they'll give it back to the Gold Coast who should be able to eat up the rest of the time. So Reynolds, Piacora needs to get the ball away. He stays on his feet. Corey Oates kicks. Here comes Walsh. Walsh, but Campbell saves the day for Gold Coast. Jaden Campbell off the bench in the second half. He's winding his way downfield. Now the tackle is applied by Reynolds and Walsh is pointing, wanting the referee to act on something in back play. But the fast, fresh feet of Jaden Campbell may have just saved the day. There were some doubts whether Walsh was onside from that, that kick in field. Hit after the ball, and that's what Reese Walsh was appealing for. And he shows a lot of passion, the young fella. But I reckon Kevin will be talking to him every referee decision here this afternoon. He's argued with or blown up about. He's a great player. So during the week, Gold Coast sacked Justin Holbrook, they sent a contingent to Origin, they came to Suncorp Stadium as underdogs. They've been in the news with speculation around Ben Hunt. They were expected to be cannon fodder by many against Brisbane, but they're only a few seconds away from a derby win to remember. Walsh throws the ball back in field, falling on the ball fittingly in the eyes of many. Mo Fodawaka, 200 run metres plus, and a final gather to seal Jim Lenahan's first win as interim head coach of the Titans. They've come from behind, having conceded the first try. It was all square at half time. They made the second 40 their own. And despite Reese Walsh and the Broncos coming at them late, the Gold Coast Titans go back inside the top eight. They've beaten Brisbane 18 points to 12.